What a day in his presence. Sema wow. Ah. Hey. Leo tumekuja. Mbeo mwingine mimi leo nimekuja kabisa. Mwambie jiweke tayari kwa sababu begu iko karibu kuachiliwa. Hey. We are pressing on. 2024 is our first meeting. We are pressing on. We are pressing on. It doesn't matter what the devil is saying, but we are pressing on. Yes, nations are waiting for woman of value. Countess are waiting for woman of value. Amen. Thank you. Praise and worship. Hatitaki uketi chini. Because I need to bring a woman of God, our mom, our papa, and how we love. Me personal, I love. Praise the name of the Lord. He's our dialector, vision carrier of this woman of value. Wala wamekuja marae ya kwanza. Na kuwakikishia. Prepare your heart. Haita kuwa bure kwa jina la yesu. Mom, we love you. We honor you. Thank you for preparing a powerful a powerful feast for us in Jesus' name. Introduction itakuja nyuma. We cannot cut the flow. We cannot. We cannot. Amen. Karibu mom, we love you. Come and bless us in Jesus' name. We praise the Lord. As she come, clap. Clap your hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb of God! Hallelujah to the King of Kings! Hallelujah to Messiah! He is coming back! He is coming back! Come on, raise your hands and speak in tongues! Speak in tongues, worship Him! Worship the King of Kings. Worship. Worship Him. Worship Him. Hallelujah. 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 Count of our fathers. We worship you. We worship you. We honor you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. You are the God of our fathers. You are the God of Abraham. We worship you. You are the God of Isaac. We worship you, Almighty God. You are the God of Jacob. We worship you. God of Sarah. God of Rachel. God of Rebecca. God of Leah. God of Deborah. You are our God, God of Elizabeth, God of Isaac, God of Esther, God of Mary. We worship you. Oh, Shaha Sayanaha. You are worthy, you are worthy. You are worthy, your God. We give you praise. We thank you for your grace that is flowing in this meeting. Like a mighty river. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you, O oh God. Our tears are prayers. When we don't have words to speak before thee, God, you see our tears. You see the depth of our heart. And today, Father, we have cried for our children. Remembering that you are the God of generations. You are known as a God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. Oh, our children, they need your mercy. Can you just raise your voice and just cry? When you don't know what to tell God, just break and just cry. God understands that cry. Hey. You understand, you understand the pain, you understand the anguish, you understand the pain that the parents are going through. 
You understand, oh God. You understand on this day. Arise. I want us, all of us, to read Psalms 132, verse 8. Just and I want us to tell God, arise. Arise in our nation. When God arises, Wakati Mungu anainuka, he begins to fight with the enemies anaanza kupigana na maadui over generation wakizazi hallelujah hallelujah all what we need is to tell him arise kile ambacho tunahitaji ni kumwambia inuka because when he arises kwa sababu anapoinuka he scatters the enemies yeye hutawanya maadui when he arises anapoinuka he silences the voice of the enemy. Ananyamazisha sauti za adu. When he arises, anapo inuka, he dismantles every altar. Anabomoa kila madhabahu. That is raised against his covenant people. Ambazo zime inuliwa kinyume na watu wake wa adalo. I want us to tell God. Nataka tumuambie mungu. Psalms 132 and verse 8, King James Version. I want us to tell God, arise in this nation. Nataka tumwambie inuka katika taifa letu. Arise O God and the ark of your covenant. Inuka na na when he arose with the ark of his covenant. Anapo inuka na sanduku lake la agano. The Bible says Jordan parted way. Bila inasema Jordan ikapasuka. And the children of Israel crossed over. Na wana wa Israeli wakavuka. When he arose when he arose with the ark of his covenant, alipo inuka na sanduku lake la agano, the Bible says all oh, the gods of Baals, the dagons, they fell down. Bile inasema kila miungu na kila dagon zika anguka. Because God is mighty. Kwa sababu mungu ni mkuu. God is powerful. Mungu ni mwenye nguvu. God is great. Mungu ni mkuu. How many knows that? Wangapi wanaelewa? How many knows that? Wangapi wanajua? Yes. Amen. Arise. Take us back is uh, Psalms 132, verse 8. Arise. Can we read? Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy strength. Hallelujah. Amen. to arise on behalf of our children, our sons and our daughters, that the enemy is killing. Is uh, destroying them. Arise, O oh God. Arise in this nation. Arise, O oh God. And the ark of your covenant. Arise, O oh God. Arise in your strength. Arise and scatter. Scatter the enemies of this generation. Scatter the enemies of our sons and our daughters. Scatter, O oh God. Arise, O oh God, and demolish and scatter. Destroy, utterly destroy. Every altar that is raised in this nation to scatter our sons and our daughters. To destroy our sons and our daughters. Arise our God. Arise in your power. In your wrath, remember mercy. In the day of wrath, remember mercy. Remember mercy. Remember mercy. In this nation, remember mercy. Remember the promise. Remember the promise. You promised this nation that Kenya shall be a spring god of revival. Esha hasaya hantaya. Rekasapula hasilepa. You are the god of generations. You are the god of Abraham. Then the god of Isaac. Then the god of Jacob. You are the god of our children. You are the god of our children. You are the god God of our grandchildren. You are the God of our great grandchildren. Arise. 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 Inuka. Arise. Inuka. Catch for us. To shikie. These little foxes. Hawambweha wadogo. That are eating the grape. Arise, O oh God. No parent takes 
their children to university to die early. Hakuna mzazi watoto shule Arise. Inuka bwana. Arise. Inuka. Arise. Inuka. Arise. Inuka bwana. We did not bring forth Hatukuza. our sons watoto wetu to marry men. Waoe wanaume. Arise. Inuka bwana. To sleep with the men. Walale na wanaume. Arise. Inuka bwana. Arise oh God. Inuka bwana. Arise. Arise, arise, O God. We did not bring forth our daughters to marry their fellow women. Lord, you are more powerful than this confusion and wickedness that is in the land. Arise in your power. Arise and scatter the enemy. Arise, O God. Arise. We did not bath our children to use alcohol and drugs. Arise, O God. Arise at the ark of your covenant and scatter the enemy. Scatter the enemy. Arise, O God. We did not bother mandarins and thieves. Arise, O God, and scatter the enemy. Whoever is on assignment to destroy this generation, we speak to you in the name of the Lord that the battle is the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. You will meet with the Lord of generations in the name of Jesus. Whoever is making him rich and reaching themselves at the expense of our children. Arise, O God. This battle is the Lord. Arise, O God. In the name of Jesus. Arise, O God. We dismantle the enemy. Adui. We unseat them. Inua. We turn their tables. Kwa kwa viti vyao na meza. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Everybody lift your hand. Let us be quiet. Kila moja inua mikono na there is kimia. awesome presence in this meeting. Kuna uwepo mkubwa wa bwana katika mkutano. Awesome kutana. presence. Uwepo wa ajabu. The spirit of the Lord is in this meeting. Roho wa bwana ako katika God Almighty huu. is in this meeting. Bwana mkuu ako katika mkutano. God our Father is in this meeting. Mungu ambaye ni baba yetu ako katika mkutano. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just worship him. Worship him. Wewe muabudu. Worship him in the spirit. Worship muabudu him. Muabudu katika roho. Pray, pray, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, pray. The ground is wet. Pray in the spirit. The ground is already wet. Pray. Pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit.
Shere bere bara basire bara bara basanda. Kire panama hasi alamande re 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 ba. Oh yes, O Lord. Oh yes, O Lord. Oh yes, O Lord. Mm. Oh, we give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Come on, raise your voice. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Pray. Pray in tongues. Pray. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. This is our meeting. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. God is here. God is moving in a mighty way. Pray. 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 Pray in the Holy Ghost. Allow the Spirit of the living God to come upon you. Allow him to come upon you. Yes. Some of you, you just need a touch. A touch. You need a touch from the Holy Ghost. It has been long since you prayed in the Holy Ghost. It has been long since he touched you and you experienced him. Allow him now. Allow the spirit of the living God to come upon you. Allow him right now. Oh yes, oh Lord. Sharabara <laughs> Dia chirie akuinu etena anakuondolea 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 moyo msito anakupaka na mafuta ya furaha ah anakupaka na mafuta ya furaha anakuondolea majivu anakuondolea majivu ili akupake na mafuta mafuta ya furaha Jiachirie kwake, jiachirie kwake Hiyo uchungu, hiyo uchungu uachirie Uachirie anaelewa Anaelewa hiyo uchungu Jiachirie, jiachirie kwake Oh yes, 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 yes Jiachirie, sharaba, serebere, baraba, sayara, raraba This is the mountain of the Lord They have come to Mount Zion They have come to the mountain of grace they have come to the mountain of grace, mountain of mercy. Oh, this is Zion. This is not a Sinai. The mountain of death, the mountain of judgment. Oh, this is Zion, the mountain of grace and mercy. Come on, come on, touch, 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 touch. Experience a fresh touch. From the Holy Spirit right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus. I release. I release this grace. I release this grace. I release this fresh anointing. Let it touch you right now. Let it strengthen you right now. Oh, Sharaha Sinepaya. Kirepana Masaya. Kirau Sito Nayayuka. Kirau Gumu Amoyo Nayayuka. Kira woga na wasiwasi Unaondoka katika wepo wabwana Kira giza inaondoka Iri nuru ya kristo ikuangazie Ambaye die tumaini lako Oh shalaba serebereba Oh yes Lord 
Santo y eso lo Shalabaraba Kerebaraba Serebereba You are a messenger of God You are his mouthpiece You are filled with his word You are rich in him Come on I command every ear right now To begin to hear the voice of the spirit The spirit of the living God In the name of Jesus I command every eye to open Every eye to open Begin to see wonderful things Thank you O Lord oh, Let the river flow Lord Let the river flow The river of grace the river of life, let it flow. Let it flow from your throne. The river that makes glad the city of the Lord.
are the life. You are the resurrection. We worship you, God. Yayote ambaya na itaji. Nguvu hizo za ufufuo pokea sasa. Pokea sasa kwa imani. Pokea katika jina la yesu. Chochote kilikuwa kimekufa. Kifufuke tena. Nguvu za maombi zifufuke tena. Neema na upendo wa kumtumikia bwana. Ufufuke tena. Nguvu za mungu zifufuke tena. Dani yenyu kwa jina la yesu. Haleluya. Tumpatie bwana yesu makofi mazuri. Makofi mazuri. Amen. Sarimia muenza kumuambie. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Mwambie karibu sana. Karibu sana kwa mkutano. Wa Woman of Value Body Meeting 2024. Hallelujah. Ebu tumshangirie Yesu. Tumerudi, tumerudi. Tumerudi kwa neema ya Bwana. Hallelujah. Na nataka kuchukua nafasi hii tunaweza keti. Kuna neema mzito sana ya Mungu inayo tembea mahari hapa. Na ningependa ukae kama unakesha. Ukae kama mtu ambaye anapokea. Haleluya. Eh Bwana wabariki sana kwa kufika. Ningependa kuanza na kuwashukuru watumishi wa Bwana wote ambao wamefika eh, wachungaji revelets and bishops and apostles ambao wamefika katika mkutano wa leo ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kuwashukuru sana na kuwakaribisha katika mkutano wa leo tutafanya eh, kusalimiana baada ya ibada ya neno is that okay ningependa kumshukuru our coordinator bishop Esther Asanti kwa kutuongoza vizuri. Hebu tumshangilie kwa makofi. Asanti sana, asanti sana Mungu akubariki. Na all the executive team wale ambao eh huwa tunaketi pamoja tunapanga mkutano huu. Ningependa kuwashukuru. Asanteni sana kwa kuongoza maombi yenye nguvu sana. Kama kuna jambo huwa ninagojea ni sehemu ya maombi kwa sababu wakati watu wamekuja pamoja wamekusanyika pamoja kama kusanyiko hili ambalo sio la kanisa moja sio eh, lo, one local church sio dhehebu moja bali ni mwili wa Kristo umekusanyika pamoja Mungu huwa anaachilia neema kuu Bwana Yesu asifiwe neema ambayo huwa haachili wakati local church imekutanyika kwa sababu huu ni mwili wake. Na ningependa ujipigie makofi kwa sababu ya kufika Bwana akubariki sana. Asanteni sana waibaji wetu. That was powerful. Eh, Ambrose, let us appreciate our son Ambrose. That was powerful. What do we tell Richard? We love you Richard. That was very very powerful again and all our worshipers. We need eh, Pastor Rona Eh, Pastor Rona, the Lord bless you. Let us appreciate Pastor Rona. Ameleta um, neema mzuri sana wakiwa na waibaji wote. Mungu awabariki. Kama uliombea mkutano huu, Mungu akubariki. Hallelujah. Our media team ambao wanafanya tusikike na wengi. Eh, let us appreciate them. We can see we have our son Jimmy J there. We have Maish, we have our other son. Let us appreciate them well. Na tuko na mpiga picha wetu, our own, our own, ambaye tumejilelea. Another dynamic, dynamic woman of value. Huli mazuri, barikiwe sana Grace. Na Grace akona sacrifice, kari sana. Niliambi alitoka Nairobi kwa kusudi ya kufika hapa. Eh, the Lord shall reward you great. In Jesus mighty name. Na wote ambao wamekuja viongozi wa kanisa hili Elder Jane, Elder Anne and uh, all the leaders of this church I can see them I can see Lucy back there the Lord bless you all 
I may not mention all of you by names. Can you just appreciate yourself and say, Mwah. Say, my, I love myself. Oh. I don't care whether you love me or not, but I love myself. Because I know my worth. I know my value. I am forgiven. I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. I am purchased by the blood of Jesus. I have eternal life. I am the blessed of the Lord. Can you say as I am saying? Sio mimi najiambia ni wewe unajiambia. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Eh nataka kuwa letea neno la Bwana eh woman of value body ministry ni huduma ambayo ina inua jeshi la wanawake ambao wanaweza kuhubiri neno wanaweza kumtumikia Mungu katika eh, karama za roho ambazo Mungu amewapa praise the name of the lord ni katika huduma hii tumeshuhudia kama vile nilisikia ushuhuda ukitolewa na an wengi wameinuliwa kutoka, kutoka kwa huduma hii wengi wametoka chini wamepelekwa mahali pa juu wasiokuwa na jina Mungu amewapa jina wasiokuwa na huduma wamepata huduma wasiokuwa na kazi wamepata kazi e, niliingia nikasema hatukujua kuvaa akatufundisha kuvaa situmpatie bwana Yesu makofi mazuri kwa hivyo ni huduma ambayo tuna bwana aliniambia kwamba ni muinulie mwanamke ambaye ni mrembo na urembo wa mwanamke hauko nje uko ndani na mwanamke huyu anarebeshwa na neno la Mungu kwa sababu neno ndi neno ni maji na wakati neno linapoachiliwa kwetu neno hilo linatuosha neno hilo linatusafisha nataka kuleta kwetu leo ya kwamba Mungu E, ako katika majira ambao anainua mwanamke wa kinabii jana nilipokuwa kwa MBCI nilisema maybe e, e topic imechanganya wengi na maybe wengi wakauliza je tunaenda kutabiriwa tunaenda kuambiwa e, about our future tunaenda kuambiwa nani ameturoga nani hajaturoga tunaenda kuambiwa jirani yetu ndiye alificha mfupa wa kuku ndio muko na mikosi kuna watu ambao walikuwa na maybe hiyo eh, concept ya kwamba ah prophetic woman lakini leo nime, ninataka kuwaletea eh, neno ambalo litatufungua macho na tutatoka hapa tukisema i am that prophetic woman bwana yesu asifiwe kwa sababu hicho ndicho bwana anakifanya na tunashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya rehema zake. Tunamshukuru kwa sababu ya neema yake ambao ametufikishia, hasa ametuingiza katika muondoko wake. Wewe haujaachwa nyuma, hauko nje ya muondoko wa Mungu, wewe umo ndani ya muondoko wa Mungu. Na wakati Mungu anapovo in this nation, kuna muondoko wa kuzalisha uvuvio wakati unapoona watu wamechukiana watu hawasameheani watu hawapendani kama vile wanatakikana watu wameanza kwa badon nyumba ya Mungu watu wameanza kukosea heshima nyumba ya Mungu basi unajua ya kwamba there is a call for revival kwa sababu vuvio ni kufufua ni kuhuisha ni kuinua tena Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na mimi na wewe najua unaamini ya kwamba tuko katika nyakati za uvuvio ambapo Mungu anafufua tena. Mungu anaachilia muondoko wake tena ili watu wasikie ya kwamba you know siko peke yangu. Kuna msukumo mwingine wa kiungu ambao unanisukuma. Unanisukuma kufunga na kuomba, unanisukuma kujitenga, unanisukuma kutafuta neno unanisukuma kupenda Mungu zaidi. Haleluya. Kama umekuwa ukijisikia namna hiyo ujue ya kwamba wewe umeshikwa na muondoko huu wa Mungu. Haleluya. 
Na kwa hivyo wakati huu ni vyema uweze kuku you need to connect ni vizuri ungamanishwe ushikamanishwe na wale ambao e, Mungu anawaleta pamoja ni kama nyakati za Ezekiel mifupa mikavu ilipotabiliwa ilikusanyika pamoja ikaja pamoja ikapuruziwa pumzi ya Mungu ikainuka ikawa jeshi kubwa kwa hivyo usi wakati wa kukaa nje sio wakati wa kutembea peke yako ni wakati wa kuleta e, wa kushikama na pamoja praise the name of the lord nataka nijaribu sana Kiswahili leo sawa unapata ya kwamba e, katika biblia every time god was on move he brought people together aliwaleta watu pamoja alileta debra na jael pamoja na wote kama team wakaweza kumwangusha sisela na wakaweza kusababisha ushindi mkubwa kwa wana wa Israeli. Wakati Mungu alikuwa katika muondoko, alileta Mary na Elizabeth pamoja. Na wakaweza they were on the same frequency. Waliweza kushika mzigo mmoja. Na mzigo mmoja ilikuwa ni ya kwamba watafute Mungu wa mababa zao, Mungu wa Ibrahimu, Mungu wa Isaka na Mungu wa Yakobo ili Mungu aweze kuwaokoa kwa maandui zao kwa mikono ya maandui zao na Esther na Mordekai wakatumika na njia kubwa kuleta ukombozi na sio tu ukombozi wakaleta utajiri they brought prosperity to the Jews they brought prosperity to the children of God because they walked and worked together walitembea na wakafanya kazi pamoja wakati wa Naomi Naomi alishikana na Ruth na wote wakatembea pamoja na wakafanya kazi pamoja kama team they walked and worked together as a team kwa hivyo katika siku zetu in our time and our day god is checking our heart Mungu anaangalia roho zetu eh, ili aweze kuponya roho ambazo zimevunjika na aweze kusafisha roho ambazo zimechafuka ili aweze kuleta pamoja Bwana Yesu asifiwe ashikamanishe pamoja people who are of like minded people whom the lord is knitting their heart together ili ukombozi ule ambao bwana anataka upatikane ukaweza kupatikana and there is a need to pray earnestly kuna haja kubwa ya kuomba kwa bidii ya kwamba mungu akaleta kanisa katika mahali pa uiano mahali pa upendo wa dhati upendo usio na unafiki kwa sababu Mungu ako juu mbinguni haleluya na wewe na mimi tuko hapa duniani tunaweza jifichia binadamu lakini hatuwezi jificha mbele ya macho ya Bwana kwa hivyo anaangalia he is visiting churches he is visiting ministries like this and many other ministries to check the conditions of our heart so that he can bring something i'm calling deep connection praise the name of the lord and when uh, finally after he has done this there is going to be a great and mighty harvest in the land to the glory and honor of the name of the lord hallelujah now a prophetic woman mwanamke wa kinabii This message is very exciting. Mwanamke wa kinabii. Mwanamke wa kinabii ama kuwa mtu wa kinabii it is simply means kuwa mtu ambaye anaweza zungumza moyo wa Mungu. Kwa sababu prof, prophecy means to speak to bring the future into present. Eh? 
unabii ni kumaanisha ya kwamba una wewe unawezeshwa na Mungu kuona kesho na nyakati zinazokuja kisha unazinena Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nikipenda kuwaletea kwamba prophetic gives light Unabii hupeana mwangaza Wakati Isaia prophet Isaia alitabili akasema na mwana na kwetu mwana amezaliwa na kwetu mwana amepea mtoto amezaliwa na mwana amepeanwa eh alitabili future akaileta present akatabili alipotabili Mungu akaanza kazi akaanza kazi ya kutayarisha watu akaanza kazi ya kutafuta mtu ambaye atalishika neno hilo ambalo limetamkwa ambalo limo katika anga ya kiroho ailete into physical manifestation wakati Mungu alipokuta Adam na Eve wame wametoka katika mpangilio wake na neno lile alikuwa amewapa Mungu hakunyamaza akatamka kinabii akaambia mwanamke ya kwamba kwa sababu ya hayo umefanya utakuwa na vita na mbegu mbegu uzao wako your seed will be in enmity with the serpent mbegu yako itakuwa na uadui na huyu nyoka ambaye amekudanganya na Mungu alikuwa ananenea miaka inayokuja alinenea kuhusu yule ambaye atazaliwa na mwanamke ambaye atakuwa na mamlaka juu ya nyoka ambaye ni shetani na Mungu akazungumza kumhusu Yesu Kristo haleluya kwa hivyo katika nyakati hizi wewe kuwa hai ni jambo la kushukuru Mungu kuwa umeokoka ni jambo la kumshukuru Bwana. Kuwa uko katika mazingara um, uh, sorry mazingira ambayo unafundishwa neno, unasikia sauti ya Mungu, count yourself blessed. Because God is preparing you also so that you can prophesy. Hallelujah. To prophesy is to speak the heart of God. To prophesy is to speak the heart of God. To prophesy also is to speak the mind of God. Is to make invisible visible. Ni kufanya isionekana ionekane. Praise the Lord. Isionekana ionekane. Wengine wetu tuko vile tulivyo leo kwa sababu ya neno lililo tamkwa na Mungu kupitia watumishi wake. Mungu akasema nimekuchagua utakuwa mtumishi wangu. Mwingine akaambiwa nimekuchagua kukupitia jamii yako itaokoka. Kwa hivyo unapoishi unajua ya kwamba I don't live for myself, I live for my people. Na hiyo neno lilikuletea nuru, lilikuletea mwelekeo. Do you know prophetic hata huwa ina shape maisha ya mtu prophetic praise the lord prophetic consecrate you you don't live just anyhow you live a consecrated life because you are calling the seed of god and the mandate of god praise the lord si hapo tumeelewana kuna watu ambao Mungu aliwatumia katika siku zao ambao Biblia imewaita prophetess. Nilipoangalia nilifurahi sana. Nikasema kama kuna watu ambao Biblia Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa maakilifu sana kusababishwa iandikwe ya kwamba they were prophetess. Hallelujah. They are prophet and prophetess. Na jana mtu akaniuliza swali, "Je, na wale ambao what is to be prophetic? Na wale ambao Biblia inasema tutamani 
karama za kutabiri we we, are, we desire prophecy si biblia inasema hivyo we desire prophecy nikamwambia hiyo desiring prophecy biblia haijasema you desire to become a preacher hiyo prophecy dio inasema you desire to preach to prophesy is to preach desire to preach hallelujah desire to preach and this revelation got me when i was growing young in my faith i admired my pastor and i began to ad- to desire to become a preacher nilikuwa nafanya nini nili desire to prophesy hallelujah nili desire kuhubiri ku sahi ninapohubiri i am prophesy nili desire kuwa mouthpiece ama mdomo wa Mungu na nyakati zile na ningependa zirudi siku zetu tulikuwa tunajitoa sana tunajitolea sana haleluya nakumbuka kuna ujumbe moja nilihubiri sikumbuki nikanisagani lakini kuna ujumbe nilihubiri ipo maliza nikaambia watu tokeeni nikawaambia hebu jiachilie inueni mikono patia Mungu macho yako patia Mungu mikono yako patia Mungu mdomo yako patia Mungu na miguu yako patia Mungu chochote chako ah nilipoona vile walinua na wakajitolea i'm telling you before god nikasikia Mungu amehuisha ame neno ndani yangu akaniambia release the grace to understand the scripture because some of them i'm raising them to become preachers praise the name of the lord kwa hivyo unaposema Bwana najiachilia you know nitumie vile unavyo unavyotaka we haujui Mungu huwa anafurahi namna gani anasema ya kwamba nimejipatia mwingine ambaye atakuwa sauti yangu haleluya tuko na wa kwanza ambaye we have few women in the bible who are known as prophetess wa kwanza anaitwa prophetess Miriam the sister of Moses anaitwa nani prophetess Miriam ambaye Biblia inasema ya kwamba alichukua kinanda Exodus chapter 15 verse 20 Then Miriam the prophetess Miriam the prophetess ningependa waangalie jina lako mwambie kutoka leo ningependa Mungu akupatie jina Haleluya Yes Miriam the prophetess the sister of Aaron took the tibrel in her hand and all the women went out after her with the tibros and with the dances she is known as a prophetess in her line of duty kila huduma yake sana sana ilikuwa ni ya uimbaji alikuwa anaachilia neema ya kinabii katika uimbaji wake na katika nyakati zetu Mungu anaachilia neema ya kinabii kwa binti zake. Ya kwamba nyimbo zako zitakuwa prophetic. Nyimbo zako zitakuwa ni kama ni Mungu anazungumza. Ukisimama kuimba watu wanasema I can hear the voice of God in that song. Kuko na kulikuwa na mwingine anaitwa prophetess Hulda, the wife of Shalom. Prophetess Hulda the wife of shalom second chronicles chapter 34 verse 22 so hilkaya and those the king had appointed went to hulda the prophetess munaona prophetess eh second chronicles 34 verse 22 the prophetess the wife of shalom the son of toka tokar the son of hasra keeper of the wardrobe she dwelt in jerusalem in the second quarter and they spoke to her to that effect give us verse 23 to that then she answered them ebuskia then she answered them thus says the lord god of israel tell the man who sent you to me uh-huh. verse 24 Thus says the Lord. Sunasikia thus says the Lord. Nikumaanisha kwamba she is not speaking of herself. 
She is not speaking her own words. She is speaking from God and for God. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring calamity on this place and on its inhabitants. All the curses that are written in the book which they have read before the king of Judah, verse 25, because they have forsaken me and burned incense to other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore, my wrath will be poured out on this place and not be quenched. Hilda, Ama Hulda, was a well-positioned woman in her generation and her time and she was a woman who could hear from God for her people. Praise the Lord. Become a woman who is hearing from God for your people. So that when you speak, you speak the oracle of God. You speak the mind of God. Isaiah the prophet had a wife whom the Bible says was a prophetess. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 3. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 3. Then I went to the prophetess. I went to the prophetess and she conceived and bore a son. Then the Lord said to me, call his name Mahal Shalal has birth. But the key word is, Isaiah the prophet went in to his wife, who was a prophetess, and she conceived. Look at me. Tuko katika nyakati ambazo, kila wakati unajikuta katika mazingira ambalo, mabayo neno lina kubiliwa neno linafundishwa na hasa wale ambao ni wabeba neema fivefold graces wabeba neema hallelujah kanisa hujengwa na neema ambazo Mungu huachilia neema za kinabii neema, neema ya kimitume neema ya kinabii na neema ya walimu kulingana na first chronicles chapter 2 first corinthians chapter 2 verse 27 Inasema mungu wa mepeana kalama hizi tatu. Wa efeso wa, wa, wa ine kumina moja na kumina mbili. Inanena kwanza mitume, manabi, wajiristi, walimu na wachungaji. Paul akakuja, akanena kuhusu neema zinazo jenga. Akasema neema hizi zinazo jenga ni neema ya kimitume, neema ya manabi na neema ya walimu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Isaia akamkuta mke wake. Na mke wake alikuwa nabii. Na kile waliza ni mtoto ambaye alitumika kufanyika nabii. Nasi tunapokuja katika uwepo wa Mungu mbele ya Kristo Yesu ambaye die Bwana wetu. Come with a heart that is ready to receive and to conceive a prophetic seed. Na hapo dipo huduma zitaanza kuzalika. Watu wataanza kuinuliwa. Watu ambao wanaweza kumtumikia mungu. Tunaishi katika nyakati za hatari sana. Nyakati ambazo watu hawataki kazi ya huduma. Watu hawataki kuhubiri ijiri. Watu hawataki mizigo. Ukiwaita kwa maombi hutawaona. Ukiwaita jumapiri wa hubirie, watakuja. Lakini ukianza kuongea kuhusu mizigo. People are full of themselves. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kwa sababu ya kujawa na mambo yao, mungu wa nakosa ni wapi, ataekeza begu yaki. Na ninaomba wewe uweze kupatikana. Na nimefurai vidi amesema tumbo hizo ambazo zilikuwa zimekufa amezifufua tena. Kwa hivyo unaweza shika mzigo wa Bwana tena. Unaweza shika neno la Bwana tena. Mnaona hicho kilio tumelia leo. Mungu anatafuta. 
anatafuta watu ambao wanashikamana na wanamwambia what we are seeing with our physical eyes is contrary to the prophetic promise that you promise concerning the end times it is contrary bwana yesu asifiwe bi nasema siku za mwisho nyumba ya bwana itainuliwa kuliko milima mingine na watu wataanza kusemezana wataanza kuabiana wacha twende kwa nyumba ya bwana huko tutafundishwa njia zake it is contrary to what we are seeing watu hawataki kuingia kwa nyumba ya bwana hata wale ambao ni wakuambia wengine hey jo twende kwa nyumba ya bwana ni wachache wamepungua haleluya babi bena ongea kuhusu mke wa Isaia a prophetess kwa nini roho alisababisha iandikwe Isaia knew his wife who was a prophetess and she conceived ni kwa ni, ku, ni kutangaza majira wakati Mungu ako katika muondoko huwa haachili tu neno neno la Mungu linakuja kama mbegu na neno linapokelewa na wenye wako na unabii praise the name of the lord that is here kuko na mwingine alikuwa anaitwa prophetess Deborah Deborah anajulikana kama she was a judge she was a prophetess judge judges chapter 4 verse 4 judges chapter nakimbia kwa sababu kuna kitu nataka tuone judges chapter 4 verse 4 now deborah can we read now deborah a prophetess the wife of rapidoth was judging israel at that time she was judging israel under the grace and under the mantle of prophet she was prophet What if we have leaders in our nation like Deborah? Eh? Leaders who are seeing the future. They are not after themselves. They are not after their stomach. They are after a generation. And I thank God there are some that we are beginning to see in this nation. Ambao wanaona kesho wanaona ya kwamba mimi nikitoka kuna wengine ambao ninawaandaa hapa na watafanya kile ambacho ninakifanya debla bibri na muita muke wa lapidoth kwa hivyo alikuwa ameolewa haleluya inamuita judge alikuwa eh, hakimu ambaye agetatua kesi za watu inamuita prophetess nabi ambaye agesikia kutoka kwa Mungu kwa ajili ya watu. Usisahau hiyo. Nabii ni yule ambaye husikia. A prophet is the one who hears from God for people. Hallelujah. If you are not hearing from God, don't prophesy. Eh? And do you know how God speaks? He speaks through his word. Anakupatia neno na kuambia this is the word. This is what I'm saying now. I want you to prepare this sermon. I want you to preach this message. Then you prepare. Unaposimama kuhubiri, unahubiri kile umesikia kutoka kwa Mungu unawaletea. Tutoke kwa ule mtazamo na mindset hasana kuru ambao imejawa na manabii wa uongo. Manabii wasiojua neno. Hello manabii ambao ukitaka kujua nabii wa kweli angalia kama yeye ako chini ya mamlaka Halo? ako chini ya nini ya mamlaka Deborah was under her authority of her husband she was under the authority of Barak the king Hallelujah U- uchunguza chunguja unamuliza uh, who are you submitted to who is your spiritual authority You are speaking from where from which source praise the name of the lord and you can tell he is in the siku za kutembea na discernment ya hali ya juu discernment kwa sababu wako wamejaa kwa street wanakukuta wanakusimamisha 
wanakudanganya wanakupotoza jia i'm not talking about such people i'm talking about women who are grounded in the word and they are well connected with jehovah and they are women who are under authority praise the name of the lord deborah was a prophetess and she judged number 5 philip had four daughters this is very exciting Hallelujah. May God raise such men, fathers in our time, who are seeing the value of daughters, the importance of daughters, and they begin to teach them how to walk with God and to hear God. Philip was an evangelist, the Bible says, but in his household He had four daughters. Acts chapter 21 verse 9. Now this man had four virgin daughters who prophesied. <laughs> Hallelujah. Had four virgin daughters. Nataka tuseme God is the same yesterday, today and forever. If during the time of Philip there were virgin daughters Even in our time we are raising virgin daughters who can prophesy on behalf of God. Kabla kujua kwamba wewe ni chombo cha maana sana. Mwili wako ni wa maana sana. Ndipo sasa unatakiwa uwe unajali afya yako. Jiangalie nani? Jiangalie unakula nini kwa sababu mwili huu ndio Mungu anataka kutumia. He's looking for a body and he is telling you to offer your body. Philip had four daughters who prophesied, who spoke the mind of God, the heart of God, the will of God to the people of their generation. Na walikuwa wameheshimika. Wangeingia kanisa kama hili. Wanasema acha tugojee tusikie kile Bwana anasema. Na hawa wasichana wangesimama wanene on behalf of god na kanisa lilikuwa linapata matumaini hallelujah naomba naomba huduma hii ya glorious eh, sorry woman of value yanze kuainua wanawake ambao wanaweza kuprofesai ukienda mahali una, unanena mausia ya mungu praise the name of the lord unanena neno la bwana katika jina la yesu Hawa wana wake wote all these women spoke the mind of God to their generation. And a prophetic woman is a woman who is speaking the mind of God to her generation. I was so blessed this week somebody said whether it was true or not true but I took it so seriously. Akasema kaniambia Bishop Nancy you are you are a woman of this generation kamuliza how eh, elaborate akaniambia vile huwa naona una, unabeba kazi ya Mungu na all seriousness you are not a joker you are not a pretender you are not a fake preacher narudia maneno yale niliambiwa sijipigi pasi ni yale maneno ni ushuhuda uliotole uliotolewa lakini alipoguza generation ikaniguza you are a woman of this generation tulipoachana nikaenda nikiambia Mungu kama mimi ndiye unaangalia kwa hii generation na kuhitaji zaidi praise the name of the lord make me your voice make me your vessel Make me all what you desire me to become. Hallelujah. Can you offer yourself eh that you are going to be used by God to bring change, to bring transformation to your generation? How many are saying my generation my burden? My generation my assignment. Hallelujah. Unasema they must hear God. They must return. And there is a price to pay. 
utatoa pesa zako, utate, utatoa mwili wako, utatoa nyakati zako kwa kikisha ya kwamba mungu anafunuliwa kwa kizazi chako. Muondoko ambao mungu anataka kuachilia ni muondoko wa watu ambao wanasikia mungu. Biblia imehubiriwa sana. Lakini wale wataleta change. Wale wataleta restoration. Wale wataleta healing. Wale wataleta impartation. Ni wale ambao wanasikia sauti ya mungu na wananena kwa niamba ya mungu. John the Baptist rose in his generation with the message of the Lord. His message was not well pleasing. Ujumbe wake haukua ujumbe wakufurahisha masikio. Ujumbe wake ulikuwa ni ujumbe wakukata kuwili. Ebu sema kukata kuwili. Yani upoke ujumbe upone. Ukatae ujumbe you face the consequences. That was John the Baptist in his generation. Alikuwa naanza kuambia nyinyi askari toshekeni na mshahara wenu. Aka akapigana na ufisadi mpaka kwa jamii. Hallelujah. Hakuwa hakuwa rafiki wa kila mtu. Alikuwa aadui anakoroga ni, ni alikuwa ni mtu ambaye ana, ana cause discomfort kwa watu wa kizazi chake should i bring to you women there is a lot of comfort God. a lot of comfort unafanya vile unafanya unakuja kwa nyumba ya Mungu nobody is touching that hallelujah maovu yanaendelea nobody is addressing that let me tell you, God is raising a prophetic people and they are not going to bring comfort. They are bringing discomfort. Kwa maana wana neno linalo kata kuwili. Ni neno ambolo linakuambia acha hivyo unapufanya na utaishi. Endelea kufanya vile unafanya na hautaishi. How many are believing with me? Kenya inahitaji watumishi kama hao. Hallelujah. Who are speaking on behalf of God. And God is calling you and me to arise. Now what is expected? To be found in a prophetic woman. Ninini hiyo inatarajiwa ionekane kwa huyu mwanamke. Narudi tena kwa mwanamke sababu. Nataka wewe ujione hapo. Mwanamuke wakinabi. Andika hapo prophetic sight. God does not speak to blind people. He speaks to those people who can see. Hallelujah. Prophetic sight. An eye that sees clearly what God sees. And God is Raising a people who are seeing what he is seeing so that they can speak forth what God is seeing and what God is doing. Mfano wa kwanza ambaye tutaangalia ni mama na itua verse 38. Sorry, 36 to verse 38. Now there was one, Ebu Soma, there was one. Do you know in every generation God says there was? And that one is you. I want you to say that one is me. In this generation, that one is me. Hallelujah. If God is calling women to prayer, that one woman is me. If God is calling people to go out and preach the gospel, that woman is me. If God is calling for financiers to finance his move, that person 
is me. If God is looking for men and women of sacrifice, that woman is me. Hallelujah. Now there was one, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was a, of great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart from the temple but served God with the fastings and the prayers night and day. And coming in that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. Look at me. Who you jumble a kwanza, who you mama, Anna, aliweza ku peana maisha yake yote kwa mungu. Hallelujah. She connected her heart deeply with the heart of God. A prophetic woman is a woman who is connecting her heart deeply with the Lord. Such that you can even feel the heartbeat of God. What pains you is what is paining the Lord. What pains the Lord is what pains you. Those are prophetic people. Hallelujah. I echo the word of one person who said, a statement from a man of authority or a joke from a man of authority is a statement. A joke from a man of authority is a statement. We are living in a very, Mike, in a very sensitive moment. Hallelujah. A moment where God is asking for our heart because uh, godly things are heartly things, are heart things. Ni nyakati ambazo mungu anataka mio yetu zaidi kwa sababu mambo ya rohoni ni mambo ya mio yu. This woman lost her husband. Hui mwanamuke akapoteza mewati. She was married only for seven years. Aliolewa kwa meaka saba peke yake. And instead of her being bitter. Na badala yake kuona uchungu. And associating herself with the women of her like. Na kujikusanya na wanawake wa aina yake. She gave herself entirely and deeply to God. Akajipeana kwa undani ili ya mtumikie mungu. Then she got a revelation. Kisha akapata ufunuo. She got a revelation from God. A man, God needed a vessel that will be found to be there to be constant to be committed to be devoted to be given entirely to God for the coming of Messiah alipata ufunuo ya kwamba Mungu alihitaji mtu atakaye kuwa pale atakaye jipeana atakaye jitolea ili akaweze kutumiwa na Mungu and she got a revelation na akapata ufunuo that God need somebody to stand in the gap akapata ufunuo ya kwamba Mungu anamhitaji mtu atakaye simama kwenye mwanya she gave herself na kwa hivyo akajitoa the bible does not tell us what she prophesied biblia haijatuambia alitabiri nini the bible only shows us that this woman appeared biblia inatuonyesha tu ya kwamba huyu mwanamke alitokea to bear witness of jesus ili awe shahidi wa Yesu and she witnessed na akashuhudia Jesus being dedicated to God in the temple Yesu akipeanwa kwa Mungu ndani ya hekalu and she gave glory to God na akapatia Mungu utukufu because she saw what she had entirely given herself to God for kwa sababu aliona sababu yake ya kujitolea kwa Mungu what made prophetess Anna to give herself entirely to God 
Dinini hichi ambacho kilimsukuma prophetess Anna ajipeane kwa Mungu. It is having a prophetic sight. Ni kuwa na jicho la kinabii. She was made to understand. Akafanywa aelewe. She was made to know. Akafanywa ajue what was in the heart of ni nini kilichokuwa katika moyo wa Mungu? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe tunaweza sema kwani Mungu hukujali. Si Mungu geruhusu huyu mama aolewe tu, aishi maisha yake, afurahie maisha. Lakini huyu mama tumuite msichana kwa sababu ameolewa tu seven years. Huyu msichana na Mungu wakashikamana pamoja. Amen. Na Mungu akasema your loss is my gain. Kupoteza kwako ni faida yangu. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know some of the things you lose? Unajua mambo mengine ambayo unapoteza? It becomes God's gain. Yanafanyika faida kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. It takes a eye that can see. Inachukua jicho ambalo linaona. And I'm seeing a woman whom the Lord revealed his entire plan. Naona mwanamke ambaye Mungu anamfunulia mpango wake. His thought, mawazo yake. His heart, na moyo wake. And he made prophetess Anna to know that there is somebody coming. There is a Messiah coming and for him to come the ground need to be prepared. Akasabish. And the ground is the heart of people and do you know that ground was Mary? Akasababisha prophetess Anna kujua ya kwamba kuna mtu anakuja na akamsababisha aweze kuandaa mahali aweze kuandaa moyo na yule ambaye alikuwa anaandaliwa ni Maria. Mary was the ground. Maria ndiye aliyekuwa. But for Mary to be found. Akiandaliwa na ili apatikane. God needed a prophetess. Mungu alihitaji nabii. Not just a preacher. Sio muhubiri peke yake. This generation does not need the preachers. His Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This generation need men and women whose hearts are deeply connected with the heart of God and every time they stand to minister, every time they stand to release the word of God, they are speaking the oracles of God and their God will begin to raise people people will begin to rise people will begin to say God I am here use me hallelujah Kisa. you must have a prophetic sight lazima uwe na jicho la kinabii i that see jicho linaloona what god is seeing kile ambacho mungu anaona hallelujah hallelujah this woman lived a different life huyu mwanamke akaishi maisha tofauti so you know when god begins to cause you to see what he sees he begins to separate you wakati mungu anasababisha uone kile ambacho anaona yeye anaanza kukutenga he begins to isolate you anaanza kukutenganisha he begins to make you different anakufanya tofauti he begins to cause discomfort anafanya usiwe na, na hallelujah amen he begins to allow you to see things differently anasababisha uone mambo tofauti praise the lord amen the bible says this woman lived in the temple Biblia inasema huyu mwanamke aliishi kwa hekalu day and night usiku na mchana doing fasting often akifunga kila wakati we are not told what she prayed for hatuambiwi alikuwa anaombea nini but now we know lakini sasa tunajua that she was praying and preparing the ground for god alikuwa anaandaa mahali kwa sababu ya Mungu i know you are telling me oh Nancy we are surrounded by so many Uh, you know needs and the cares of life we are so much sold into our things can god really have us i bring to you the message of the lord you need an open eye you need a sight for you to see what god is seeing unaweza niambia pengine tumezungukwa na shida na mambo mengi je mungu anaweza akatupata sisi na kuambia kwamba mungu anahitaji tu jicho ambalo linaona deep things mambo ya ndani i reveal to those who are in the in deep yanafunuliwa walio kilindini hallelujah amen deep 
cause for the deep the bible says Biblia inasema yaliyo kilindini yanaitisha yaliyo kilindini and i am perceiving in the spirit na ninahisi katika roho that god has depth ya kwamba mungu ana vilindi but majority of the believers are still in the shallow ground lakini waaminiwa wengi wako mahapa juu juu hallelujah amen may you go to the deep Naomba uingie kilindini. May you desire depth. Tamani kuingia kwa kilindini. May your prayer change. Maombi yako yabadilike. From personal needs to the needs of God. We need to bring ourselves to that place where we begin to ask God, what is that that is paining you? What is that? What do you want me to do? To what kind of prayer do you want me to pray? Tutoke katika maombi ya kujiombea na tuwe tunamwambia Bwana tufunulie ni nini hicho kilicho katika moyo wako unatamani tuombe nini Hallelujah Hallelujah The depth of God Kilindi cha Mungu Deuteronomy 29 verse 29 the Bible says Deuteronomy 29 verse 29 the things that are revealed they belongs to us and to our children The sacred things belong to the Lord our God but those things which are revealed belongs to us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. Should I throw this challenge that the Lord threw to me? Je, ni wape changamoto ambayo Bwana alinipatia? And I repented. Na nikatubu. Bwana aliniuliza What are you telling your children? Unawaambia watoto wako nini? Unawaambia watoto wako lini? Nini? Watoto wako leo wanajua ni nini Mungu anafanya. Wanaelewa. Familia yako inajua because because kwa sababu as a woman kama mwanamke your family jamii yako depends on you. Inakutegemea praise the name of the lord if the lord begins to to reveal that he is looking for a prophetic person mungu akianza kufunua ya kwamba anamtafuta mtu wa kinabii you need to begin to prepare your entire household lazima uanze kuandaa nyumba yako praise the name of the lord amen god does not speak to blind people mungu huwa hawanenei watu vipofu he is not ministered by blind people yeye hahudumiwi na vipofu blind people cannot pray Watu vipofu hawawezi kuomba. Prayers, maombi ambayo yanaugusa. They will just pray ordinary prayers. Wataomba tu maombi ya kawaida. But people with a prophetic eye, Lakini prophetic wa... sight, their prayers Their prayers are different because they pray the prayers that are in line with the heart of God. Watu ambao ni wakinabii maombi yao ni tofauti kwa sababu wanaomba kulingana na mpango wa Mungu. Do you know the Bible talks of Ezra? Unajua Biblia inanena kuhusu Ezra. Ezra was a prophetic teacher. Ezra alikuwa ni mwalimu wa kinabii. When he heard the Bible says he heard the children of the street speaking different language nasema wakati alisikia watoto wanaongea lugha tofauti he cried so much akalia sana do you know your prayers will begin to have a meaning will begin to be effective if you are going to have prophetic sight maombi yako yatakuwa tofauti na yatakuwa na maana wakati utaona na jicho la kinabii hallelujah hallelujah you go to church on sunday and you begin to pray the prayers that are inspired by the spirit of god prayers that are driven by the burden of the lord unaenda kanisani jumapili unaanza kuomba maombi ambayo yako katika moyo wa bwana mzigo ambao umepatiwa na bwana because you can see kwa sababu unaweza ona Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophetess Anna saw a need. Prophetess Anna aliona hitaji. And she said let me put aside my desires. Akasema wacha niweke kando matamani yangu. And let me give myself. Na nijipeane totally to the will of God. Kabisa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu. And I'm seeing this woman naona huyu mwanamke saying oh God. Akisema eh Mungu, let Messiah be born. Wacha Messiah azaliwe. Could be maybe she understood the prophecy of prophet Isaiah. Pengine alielewa unabii wa nabii Isaiah. Prophet sight. Number two, I want to, I want to pray for you. Number two, 
a prophetic woman is a friend of God. Jambo la pili ni kwamba mtu wa kinabii ni rafiki wa Mungu. Because prophecy is the secret of God revealed. Kwa sababu unabii ni siri ya Bwana ambayo imefunuliwa. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The secret of God revealed when I was preparing this sermon. Wakati the Lord na reminded na. me. Bwana akanikumbusha my younger days. Siku zangu za utoto. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I was a very dangerous intercessor of Nil, my family. Nilikuwa muombezi hatari wa jamii yangu. A very dangerous. Hatari sana. Hallelujah. I'm not saying I'm not dangerous, but I, I, I was a very I would see ningeona by revelation kupitia ufunuo. Where my husband is? Mume wangu ako wapi? Na anaendesha gari gani? Na ako na nani? Mimi Hello? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I kept my family. Niliweka jamii yangu on check. Katika uangalifu. Ulikuwa na hii gari. Na hii na hii mpaka nikaona naogopa. Sasa nikaacha nikasema wacha nicheze game yangu pole pole. Mm. Let me tell you women. Wacha niwaambie wanawake. Nothing should make you afraid. Hakuna kitu kina, kinaweza kukufanya uogope. If only you can engage into prayer. Kama tu unaweza ingilia maombi. Hallelujah. Amen. The challenge we are having in our churches of having weak services. Changamoto ambayo tuko nayo ya kuwa na ibada dhaifu. Because women have abandoned their role. Kwa sababu wanawake wameondokea jukumu lao. Of prayer. La maombi. Hallelujah. Mm. Do you know you can be walking with your pastor hand in hand? Unaweza eh? kuwa unatembea na mchungaji wako hata unatoa ile message ana kwa ana. Mm. Roho anakufunulia na kuambia atahubiri hii message. Okay, those are the things that encouraged us. Hayo ndio mambo ambayo alitutia moyo. Tuge Bwana angetuambia na ujumbe utakuwa hii. Unaenda kanisani mape? Mapema pastor kisimama kuhubiri anasema and the theme of my message is this unasikia mtu wako adani amefurahi kwa sababu hiyo mm. hiyo si siri hiyo mm. si mgeni kwako mm. ulikuwa unajua do you know you know if these women are going to rise ikiwa hawa wanawake watainuka and begin to pray na waanze kuomba the church in this nation kanisa katika taifa hili will stand again litasimama tena but we have abandoned our duties. Lakini tumewata majukumu yetu. Hallelujah. A prophetic woman is a friend. Mwanamke wa kinabii ni rafiki. God does not walk with enemies. Mungu hatembei na maadui. He does not keep a company of enemies. Yeye huwa hatembei na watu ambao ni maadui. If you are not a friend of God, you are his enemy. Kama wewe sio rafiki wa Mungu, basi wewe ni adui wake. If you are not with God, you are against him. Kama wewe hauko na Mungu, wewe uko kinyume chake. You study all these women who did great things, prophesied. You study the life and you realize they they would spend their days and times with God wewe soma kuhusu hawa wanawake ambao walikuwa wakinabii walitembea na Mungu na wangetumia wakati wao na Mungu let me tell you women of god wacha niwaambie wanawake wa Mungu god does not share his secret with anyone Mungu huwa hashiriki siri zake na mtu yeyote for the secret of god belongs to him kwa sababu siri za Mungu ni zake they are secret that are in the heart of god concerning this nation concerning your family concerning the church but the secret things of god belongs to him and he does not reveal to anyone kuna siri ambazo ziko kwake kwa sababu ya jamii, kwa sababu ya kanisa na kwa sababu ya taifa na kuna siri ambazo ni zake na ziko na yeye peke yake. He reveals them to his friends. Yeye hufundulia tu marafiki zake. And a friend of God is that which fear him. Na rafiki ya Mungu ni huyo ambaye anamhofu. If you he fear God, kama una mhofu Mungu then you'll be a friend of God. Sasa wewe 
utafanyika rafiki wa Mungu. And this meeting today, na mkutano huu leo, God is going to connect us again. Mungu atatuunganisha tena. The flow will begin to flow again. Mtiririko utaanza kutiririka tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever caused disconnect between you and God, God is dealing with it today. Kile ambacho kilikutenganisha na Mungu, Mungu anakishughulikia siku ya leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to talk about Abraham. Nataka kunena kuhusu Abraham. The friend of God. Rafiki wa Mungu. He knew the secret of God. Alijua siri za Mungu. Do you know those people who have the secret of God even there is a way they walk. Unajua wale ambao wana siri za Mungu wana njia ya kutembea. They are composed. Hao wamejikusanya. They don't talk much. Hawaneni mambo mengi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they know too much. Kwa sababu wanajua mengi. Those who, who know the secret of God are, are not bad mouthers. Wale ambao wako na siri za Mungu sio watu wa kunena ovyo ovyo. They don't leak the message. Hao hawatoi siri. They are not careless with their words. Hao hawatoi maneno ya kutoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to become a prophetic woman in your generation, develop a friendship with God. Ikiwa unataka kufanyika mwanamke wa kinabii katika katika nyakati zetu wewe kuwa na urafiki na Mungu. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 7. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 7. You know this message is so heavy hata ninashindwa it is so much. Are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham your friend? Your friend forever? Hello? God fought the enemies of the children of Israel not because they were good. They Mungu were alipigana na maadui wa wana wa Israeli sio kwa sababu walikuwa wazuri. But because of his friendship with Abraham. Ni kwa sababu ya urafiki wake na Ibrahim. I want to develop a friendship with my God 2024 so that God may begin to fight the battles of my family, the battles of my children, the battles of my land because of my friendship with him. Nataka kufanya urafiki na Mungu wangu mwaka huu ili aweze kupigana vita vya jamii yangu, apigane vita vya kanisa na vya taifa letu. Are you not our God? Yes, who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend forever. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to come to that position ya kwamba you don't fight for yourself. Nataka ufiki mahali ambapo wewe haujipigani. God fight with your enemies simply because you are his friend. Mungu anapigana na maadui zako kwa sababu wewe ni rafiki wake. Isaiah 41 verse 8. But you Israel are my servant. Jacob whom I have chosen. The descendants, the descendants of Abraham, my friend. Hey, hallelujah. Yes, wana sema, I no longer call you servants. I no longer call you friends. I uh, slaves, I call you servants. Mimi si waiti watumwa na waita mara watumishi. Because I have given you my word. Kwa sababu nimewapa neno langu. You are walking in my word. Mnatembea kwa neno langu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. If you want to become a voice, ikiwa unataka kufanyika sauti, become a friend of God. Fanyika rafiki wa Mungu. James 2 verse 21. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. A friend of God. Rafiki wa Mungu. A friend of God. Rafiki I know we have different friends. Najua tuna marafiki tofauti. We have family friends. Tuna marafiki wa jamii. We have social friends. Tuna marafiki wa nje. We have business associates who are friends. Tuna marafiki tunaofanya nao biashara. But God is telling us today. Lakini Mungu anatuambia leo. 
build a friendship with him fanya urafiki na yeye for your future kwa sababu usoni wako for your generation kizazi chako and nothing that god will not reveal to you concerning you concerning your children concerning your generation because you are his friend hakuna kitu hata kufichulia kwa sababu ya watoto wako kwa sababu ya kizazi chako kwa sababu umefanyika rafiki wake was not our father justified by works when he offered isaac his son on the altar do you see that faith was working together with his works and by works faith was made perfect and the scripture was fulfilled which says the scripture was fulfilled which which says can we read abraham believed god and it was accounted to him for righteousness and he was called who the friend of god eh he was called a friend of god you see the to rafiki wa mungu you you not see anywhere in the bible where it is written and Abraham prophesied. Hautaona kwa Biblia mahali neno linasema kwamba And Abraham said that says the Lord. Ya kwamba Ibrahimu alitabiri akasema asema Bwana. Lakini wakati Mungu alitaka kupigania rafiki yake Ibrahimu eh kwa sababu walikuwa wamechukua mke wake Mungu ndiye anatoa ushuhuda. Anasema huyu mtu ni nabii rudisha mke wake huyu mtu ni nabii huyu mtu amebeba uponyaji atakuombea na inchi itapona haleluya a man a person a vessel that carried healing of a nation alikuwa ni mtu na ni chombo ambacho kilibeba uponyaji wa taifa simply because he was a friend of God kwa sababu tu alifanyika rafiki wa Mungu his faith and works in God justified him. imani yake na matendo yake yakamfanya mwenye haki do you know god was making me to understand that he has so many preachers me be one of them may god have mercy on us who are preaching the gospel and we are not his friends mungu alinifanya nielewe ya kwamba kuna wahubiri wengi hata mimi ambao wanahubiri injili lakini wengi sio marafiki wa mungu singers who are singing and they are not his friends waimbaji amba wanaomba lakini sio marafiki wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Intercessors who are interceding and they are not friends of God. Waombezi ambao wanaomba lakini sio marafiki wa Mungu. So God is saying I want to save a nation. Sasa Mungu I want to save a generation. Anasema nataka kuokoa we lie land. Nataka kuokoa kizazi na taifa lakini litatua wapi? My friends. Marafiki zangu wako wapi? Praise the Lord. Amen. A friend is someone who does your will. If today Bishop Esther who is my friend begins to do things that are contrary to what I love, to what I want, I will disconnect my friendship with her. Ikiwa leo askofu Esther ataanza kufanya mambo ambayo hayanipendezi, nitatenganisha urafiki wetu na yeye. Praise the Lord. Amen. If she begins to handle the sacred carelessly. Ikiwa ataanza kuweka ma ataweza kuweka mambo ya siri. I will stop speaking to her. Nitawacha kunena na yeye. Do you know that's what God is saying? Hivyo ndivyo Mungu anasema. In the body of Jesus Christ. Katika mwili wa Yesu Kristo. The secret of the heart of God. Siri za moyo wa Mungu. He is looking for people. Anatafuta watu whom he will reveal the secret ambao watafunulia siri and when you know the secret of god na utakapojua siri ya mungu you will become his oracle wewe utafanyika muujiza wake his mouth peace utafanyika kinywa chake praise the lord amen Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our songs will begin to change. Nyimbo zetu zitabadilika. Because we'll be coming to sing the song he has given us in the secret. Kwa sababu tutaanza kuimba nyimbo ambazo ametupatia katika mahali pasiri. 
our prayers will begin to change Maubi. because we'll be praying what we are hearing. Jesus said, me and my father, we are one. I speak only what I hear him speak. I do only what I see him do. Oh God. A prophetic woman Mwanamke wa is a friend of God. Ni rafiki wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have we have developed we have kept friendship with the people who have not added anything to us. Tumekuwa marafiki wa watu ambao hawajaongeza udhamana kwetu. They have been training and training and training but God is saying wamekuwa tu wakitunyonya na kutunyonya lakini Mungu anasema I'm looking for friends. Natafuta marafiki. You have delivered the nation descendants of Abraham because Abraham was your friend. Umekomboa taifa wana wako kwa sababu Ibrahim alikuwa rafiki yako. Hallelujah. He healed the entire nation. Aliponya taifa nzima. Because of his friend. Kwa sababu ya rafiki yake. Are you yake. hearing what the spirit is saying? Yeah. He want to heal Kenya but he is saying my friends, where are my friends? Anataka where kuponya taifa letu lakini anauliza wako wapi marafiki wangu? Do I have a friend in this nation? Je, nina rafiki kwa taifa hili? Where are my friends? Wako wapi marafiki? Hallelujah. The secret give us Psalms 25 verse 14. The secret. The secret. Siri. The secret of the law. Siri za Bwana. Oh God. Can we read the secret of the Lord? This secret is godly counsel. Ni shauri la Bwana. The godly counsel of the Lord concerning your family. Shauri la Bwana kuhusu jamii yako. Makerere ishe. Mashindano ishe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. The secret is Godly counsel, the counsel, Shauli Labwana, mm. the counsel, the secret of the Lord is with those who do what? Who fear him. Fear him. Because prof prophecy Unabi is revealing ni kufunua what is not known. Kili ambacho hakijulikani. You make it known. Unafanya kijulikane. What is in the deep? Kilicho you bring it to the service. Unakileta hapa juu. Hallelujah. Amen. That is a secret. Tio ndiyo siri. A church like this. Kanisa kama hili. Need to know the secret. La paso wa kujua siri. And I prayed, you know when I came on and I, and I stood here, mm. I heard the Lord say, today I want to speak. Nilisikia bwana kiniambia ya kwamba leo nataka kunena. So nikajua I'll release an atmosphere. Nikajua nitaachilia hali. I'll create an atmosphere. Nitatengeneza hali for God to speak. Ili Bwana anene. Did he speak? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The secret Siri. The counsel is with those who fear him and he will show them his covenant. Atawaonyesha agano lake. All those who walked with God are men and women of covenant. Wote ambao walitembea na Mungu wake na waume walikuwa waagano. And you find they spoke things that are powerful. Na unakuta waliongea mambo ambayo yalikuwa ya nguvu. Life changing. For example Deborah said a man will be brought down by a woman. That was a prophecy. Deborah alisema mwanaume ataangushwa na mwanamke. Alitoa hiyo wapi? Ilikuwa ni unabii. In her secret place. Alitoa katika mahali pake pasi. She was made to know and to understand. Akafanywa ajue na aelewe. The enemy of this nation. Ya kwamba adui wa taifa hili will be defeated and brought down by a woman. Atashindwa na kuletwa chini na mwanamke. was not jealous. Na Deborah hakuona wivu. Of Jael. Ya Jael. Because she raised the Jael. Kwa sababu alimlea Jael. And Jael was raised well. Na Jael akalewa vizuri. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. You are the woman, you are the person that God is saying today. Wewe ndiwe mwanamke na yule ambaye Mungu anasema siku ya leo. 
become my friend. Fanyika rafiki yangu. But we are too occupied by many things. Lakini sisi tumejishikamanisha na mambo mengi. We want to be everywhere, Reverend Rusi. Tunataka We want everybody to see we are there. Tunataka kila mtu aone hata sisi tuko. Busy bodies, time wasters. Kupoteza wakati. To please men rather than to please God. Tunafurahisha watu badala ya kumfurahisha Mungu. But we are mungu. coming back to that place that those days when we could stay tare in the presence of God we were not even mindful of what people will say. Tunarejea wakati ambao tungekaa katika uwepo wa Bwana pasipo kujua ajali watu watasema nini. Na waletea ujumbe ume, umezee kama ujumbe wa saa hii. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu siku siku toka kwa siku kuokota kwa watu. Nilikuwa in this office. Paka nikaambia Mungu, "Oh God, it is enough now. It is enough." Imetosha. Hallelujah. Mm. What he was revealing, I was writing down. And, and as he was speaking to me uh, concerning this meeting, he was also speaking to me. Alipokuwa ananinenea kuhusu mkutano, pia alikuwa ananinenea. This nation the healing of this nation. Uponyaji wa taifa is with the friends of God. Huko na marafiki wa Mungu. Hello? Amen. The friends of because marafiki they will wa Mungu. speak. Kwa sababu watanena the heart of God. Kilicho katika moyo wa Mungu, a prophetic woman. Mwanamke wa kinabii is a woman. Ni mwanamke who is building. Ambaye anajenga and na kujikuza friendship. Urafiki with God. Na Mungu rise up on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Hallelujah. I want you to pray for yourself. Nataka ujiombe in two things. Kwa mambo mawili. I want you to tell God. Nataka umwambie Mungu I am arising this year 2024. Ninainuka mwaka huu wa 2024. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you will not fear mockery. Na wewe hautaogopa kudhihakiwa you know me I'm mocked so much mimi udhiwaki udhihakiwa zaidi because of the grace i carry kwa sababu ya neema ninayoibeba this is what they say hivi ndivyo wanasema tutakupatia nafasi uombe na usiseme vile mungu anasema because they know kwa sababu wanajua my frequency huwa inashikana sana na mungu <laughs> praise the lord amen ama unapigwa simu naambiwa eh Roho anasema nini? Na ukiulizo unasema vile anasema? Number one, I want you to pray that Lord if you want to kneel down kneel down Lord I am rising today. Jambo la kwanza utajiombea ya kwamba Mungu ninainuka And I want leo. you to be very genuine. I want you to be very open to God and I want you to tell God God Nataka uwe wazi kwa things that are being pinning me down. Anifinyilia chini. Issues of life. Mambo ya maisha. But Lord, lakini Mungu, I am rising. Ninainuka. Sinawapea maombi. Mm. Tena umwambie God, we have seen through your word. Tumeona kupitia neno lako. During the time of Moses, wakati wa Musa, you raised Miriam. Wewe ulinua Miriam, who was a prophetess. Ambaye alikuwa ni nabii. In our time, katika siku zetu, raise me. Niinue. In the time of uh, uh, Deborah, wakati wa Deborah, you raised her. Wewe ulimuinua. God, in time of Esther. Na hata wakati wa Esther, you raised Esther. Wewe ulinua Esther. And she became a vessel akafanyika chombo an instrument chombo that you used to so powerfully ambalo ulilitumia kwa njia kubwa kuleta mabadiliko to bring prosperity kuleta fanisi to bring security kuleta usalama to her own people kwa watu wake i want to tell god nataka umwambie mungu i am failing myself lakini najitoa the way you know how vile unajua god just me nitumie bwana prayer number 2 maombi ya pili i want to have a sight Nataka kuwa na prophetic sight. Na macho ya kinabii. I want to see what you are seeing. Nataka kuona so kile ambacho unakiona. I can begin to align myself. Ili nianze kujiweka laini. I can begin 
to sacrifice myself for your use. Na honest rumwambie, you used prophetess Anna who kept her entire life, you know, praying and fasting and interceding for the coming of Messiah. God, we need Jesus to come again, to come to the temple again. We need Jesus to begin to save again. We need Jesus to begin to move again in our time. I want you to tell God, if you did it to prophetess Anna, do it to me. Mwambie kama ulifanyia prophetess Anna, hata mimi nifanyie. Lastly, you are going to tell him, make me your friend. Ya mwisho utamwambia, nifanye rafiki yako. A friend of God is uh, someone who walks in total obedience. Rafiki ya mungu ni yule anatembea katika utiifu. Someone who does the will of God. Anaefanya mapezi ya mungu. That is a friend of God. Huyo ni rafiki wa mungu. Someone who can keep the secret of the heart of God. Anaeweza kueka siri za moyo wa mungu. He speaks only when he is instructed to speak. Like me, I know a lot. My heart keeps a lot. And I only speak when he tells me to speak. I want you to raise your hand and I want you uh, individually I want you to take yourself to God. Then completely we are going to pray for our ministry. That God may use this ministry to become a voice. To become a voice in the name of Jesus. Can you pray? Can you take yourself and tell God, yes Lord. I am rising. I am being. Nimekua nikisumbuliwa na mambo kidogo kidogo. Nimekua bwana nikifanywa mnyonge mdhaifu na mambo kidogo kidogo. Nimekua wapwana nikirudi nyuma kwa mambo kidogo kidogo but I'm rising oh God I have heard your word I have heard your word that God you are calling us you are calling us Lord this is our generation this is our time this is our season oh God our father this is our season to be accountable this is our season and I pray oh God Sharapuna ya zekaya raboshanda. Reka sharaha sileba hasia. This is our time, oh God, that you are calling us to arise. This is our time, oh God. You want to raise a prophetic woman who has your word, who has your heart, who has your mind. You want to raise, oh God, a woman, oh Father God, who is speaking on your behalf. Who is speaking on your behalf? Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I am arising. Can you tell God I am arising? Whatever has been making me weak. Oh God, you are making me strong again. In the name of Jesus, chochote bwana ambacho kimekuwa, kikinifanya niwe mdhaifu, nikikinifanya nirudi nyuma, bwana chochote ambacho kimechafua hata uzazi wangu, uweza wangu wa kushika, uweza wangu wa kushika mapenzi yako, uweza wangu bwana wa kufanya mapenzi yako. Ah, siku ya leo, mwambie nime Nimesikia mausia yako, nimesikia neno lako, nimesikia buwana, ninainuka tena, ninainuka katika china la yes. I am coming from a noisy environment, I am coming from a land of noise, oh God. I am bringing myself to a place of secrecy, to a closet, closet with you, God, in the name of Jesus. Changing our songs, God, you are changing our prayers, you are changing our giving. Oh, for you have brought us to a prophetic season, you are bringing us, oh God, to a prophetic season, you are bringing us, oh God. Oh, yes, we will be responding, we will be. Acting prophetically, what was 
just a need. You are looking for a vessel that will prepare the coming of Messiah. Are you not calling us that we arise and begin to prepare for your coming? For you are coming and you will not delay to prepare for your coming to the temple again. To begin to wash your temple. To begin to clean up your temple. To begin to remove anything that is not godly. In the name of Jesus, you are raising women. You are in the name of Jesus. Rise up on your in the name of Jesus. Come on. Lift your hand and say ah, like prophetess Anna, I am connecting with you. I am connecting oh God. Yes, prepare me as a vessel. You are returning back our other bad pillow. You are hurt a bit oh God. You are calling us back to fast him because we have known your heart. We have understood your heart in the name of Jesus. That book of James also speaks of Rahab. Rahab the harlot. That she was saved because of her acts. Do you know Rahab are your spies? Na macho ya kinabi. Akaona hawa sio wanaume kama wale wengine. Hawa sio wanaume kama wale ambao wameingia kwa nyumba yangu na akaweza kuwahifadhi. Akaweza kuwaficha. Mwanamke ambaye ana macho yanaona ataona atatofautisha kilicho kitakatifu na kisicho kitakatifu. Mwanamke inua hiyo mikono. Mwambie Bwana Yesu God I don't want to serve you in a blindness. I don't want to relate with my brethren in a blindness. I don't want to see your servant in a blindness. I want to see them as you are sent ones. Joshua the two spies, they were the sent one. Na raha babaya na simabia kanisa laweza kuwa haliko na jina mzuri kanisa laweza Zakuwa, limepatiwa majina mengi lakini kanisa kanisa hili la siku la mwisho linaona kama huyu mama linaona wabeba neema linaona watumwa wa Bwana na hao ndio tutawahifadhi hawa ndio tutawaficha hawa ndio tutawaficha hatutawapeana mikono ni mwandui hautapeana nyumba ya Hautapeana mchungaji wako Hautapeana waze wa kanisa Hautapeana vijana wa kanisa Hautapeana watu wa kanisa Kwa maana unamacho ya naona Unamacho ya naona Haa kwa imani Rahab waka waona Na mtazamo mwingine Na Rahab waka fanya Tendo la kinabi Aka wahifa Akawa ficha Kwa maana richua Wana wagano wanaingia Wana wa Ibrahimu wanaingia Na hawa watu mungu wao wakonao Na hawa watu mungu wao ni mungu wa vita Re sharabase katarabasida Re karabaside barabashanda Re karabaside baraba Sherebere basside lalalaba Lift your hand, lift your hand, Mungu alini ambia, na utachiri ya hekima, na utachiri ya hekima, na achiri ya hekima, na achiri ya hekima kwenyu, na achiri ya hekima ya kiungu, na achiri ya hekima ya mungu, iwashukie mwaka wa 2024, tatembea na macho ya naona, tatembea na macho ya naona, makanisa yenyu kure mumetoka, ya taaza kuexperience uzima, uhai kwa sababu wewe uko kwa sababu wewe uko katika jina la yesu katika jina la yesu Pwana, uliemtumia rahab, haukujari vile watu walimuita, ha 
haukujali vile watu walimuona haukujali biashara yake lakini rahabu aliwaficha watumwa wa Bwana rahabu aliwaficha wale walitumwa na Joshua na si tunawaficha wale ambao Mungu anawainua sisi tunawaficha because we are seeing them with a prophetic eye in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus may you apply the eyes oh be open in the name of Jesus the Lord open your eyes the Lord open your eyes to see like a god to see like a god to see like a god come on come on come on say i want to see like you god i want to see like you god whoever will come on my way i will take care of them i will take care of them sharaba sire bara hasia kire Come on, jump it, jump it, jump it. Do you know it is until your eyes are open you begin to see like a god Oh my god Oh my god Sherebere bara bara bas sherebere bara bara bas Shandara listen to this These women who are rising in this season they are not after any title. Wanawake ambao wanajua majira hili hawatafuti They are not after any title. Hawatafuti jina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are not after any title. Hawajitafuti majina. They are not after any recognition. Hawatafuti kujulikana. Their burden is the Lord. Mgo wao ni wa Bwana. Their concern is the Lord. Husika kwao ni kwa Bwana. I am seeing healing coming back to the church because of the, the rising of prophetic women. They are full of God's will. They are pregnant with the God's will. They don't talk much but they carry God. Hawaneni mengi kwa sababu wamembeba Mungu. Do you know who wanasema mahali mto umenyamaza hapo ndipo kilindi kiko. Mungu anasema kanisa. Ha. Ha. Makelele yamekuwa mengi. Yamekuwa mengi sana. Makelele yamekuwa mengi sana. Mungu anatafuta utulivu utulivu tu lakini ni yule ambaye ana macho macho yanayoona macho yanayoona macho yako yakifunguliwa hata kutoa kwako kutabadilika yule mama alienda kwa Yesu alimuona na macho ya kinabii alimuona alimuona Kristo anaelekea msalabani kufa kwa ajili ya dhambi ya ulimwengu akavunja kibwata akavunja kibwata akamvagoza miguu na nywele yake 
yake akamtayarisha prophetically for the cross raise your hands raise your hand the reason you have been mean umekuwa mgumu umekuwa mgumu na pesa hata mgumu kwa Mungu ni kwa sababu ya upofu upofu macho yasiona haiwezi kuharibika lakini macho I'm seeing, I'm seeing the rising, the rising of women who are composed. Women who are composed, they know, they know what they are doing. Shandaraba serebere baraba last ray friends friends of god a friend of god tumeona scriptures ambazo zimetuelekeza kwa maisha ya ibrahimu baba yetu biblia inasema we are his descendants tumekuwa tukikiri baraka za ibrahimu utajiri wa ibrahimu leo nataka i want us to claim for the grace of friendship friendship with God like our father Abraham because the secret things of God belongs to him and they reveal to them that fear him he reveals his counsel his counsel to those who fear him to those who are his friends i want you to tell god uh, from today as a woman of value i am becoming your friend your friend if i have been having friends who are not of your choice who are against you i will be there i will disown them i will disconnect myself i will I will I will I will sharahasia come on raise your voice raise your voice and tell God you did it to Abraham to appoint a when you needed to hear a nation you spoke of Abraham as a prophet because Abraham was your friend the obedience of Abraham made him your friend the walk of Abraham with you God made him your friend the sacrifices of abraham made him your friend oh god our father you are making us your friend we make a choice akatapa palabasine palabasine ba sherepere basine barabashanda Rekalabasine barabasaya Rekalabala hasine lalala A friend knows the secret A friend knows the deep things of God A friend is made to know What is the heart of God What is the heart of God What is the will of God Concerning a nation Concerning the child A friend is only a friend of God Rasha radina bazokaya Kachenga urafiki na mungu tena Tunachenga sisi siyo Watumwa sisi siyo Wafungwa sisi ni marafiki Sisi ni marafiki Sisi ni marafiki Pokea neema ya urafiki Pokea neema ya kuwa rafiki Rafiki wa mungu Chenga urafiki na mungu Pokea neema Pokea neema Pokea neema Pokea katika china la yes Pokea neema katika china la yes Pokea neema Sharabaraba sereberema Kipanaraba Sereberebaraba I may not lay my hands on all of you But I want you to lift your hands Before I release this grace Ninasikia kwamba kuna mtu Mungu anaponya saa hii. Yesu wako hapa na anaponya. Umekuwa ki unapopumua unasikia uchungu kwa bavu zako. Difficult in it. to leave your body. I come against it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I release the healing power. 
to heal you right now. I command your bones to be healed, to be strong. I speak to your back. I speak to your lips. I speak to your lungs. Receive the life of God. Receive the healing of God. I know. I know when he wants me to lay hands on somebody. I know it. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling his anointing on my right hand. I'm feeling. And the Lord has spoke to me and said, there will come. Oh my God. Oh God, this is very prophetic. This is very pro in line with the, the prophetic word. And Lucy Tuyot, is, is she still here? Lucy Tuyot? Yametoka. God has secret. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But today God is visiting you with his visiting you with his mercy. And there is a, a restoration taking place. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another thing the Lord is going to draw you closer. Him. Some of you, you'll begin to feel I don't want this friendship anymore. You'll begin to feel you just want to be alone, but you not be alone. The Lord will be preparing you to connect you with the people whom he will choose for yourself. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In when you are mikono mujiombe, mujiombe, nataka kuriza watumishi wabona. Come and help me. Come and help me. We lay our hands on these women and we ask God restore back their sight. Restore back their sight. Let them begin to see glorious things and wonderful things that are written in your book. Listen to me, women. Do you know the Bible says? that there are wonderful things that are written in the word of God. And these wonderful things God reveals to those who fear him. Call unto me and I will answer thee. And I will show you deep and great things that you know not. These are the secrets of God. He is in the series of that you know not. But God wants you to begin to know them. The secret things of God. Hallelujah. of those things that I missed in the past. Forgive me, O oh God. Forgive my mess. Cleanse my mess. Clean up my mess. And Lord, give me Give me a new beginning. Come on, servant of God. God, give them a new beginning. Give them a new beginning in the name of Jesus. Oh God, clean up every mess. Clean up every mess in the name of Jesus. Clean up every mess, oh God. Every blackness that has been caused because of her carelessness. The Bible says during the days of our ignorance, God overlooked. But now you are calling us to repent. I release the grace. I release the sight of God. I release the spirit of God. The spirit of the living God come upon you today. Be rebirthed in the name of Jesus. Be birthed again. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Jen, kuja jeni wa ekere mikolo. Wa ekere be birthed. Be birthed. Be birthed. Be birthed again. May your eyes begin to see. Yes, in the name of Jesus. May you begin to be revealed of the secret of God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, resurrection. Resurrection. We can any have a bishop Esther. Resurrection in the name of Jesus. Yes, The 
The Lord is touching you at depth. Mungu anaguza kirindi chako. Mungu anaguza udani wako. Mungu anaguza. Mungu anakuponya vinonda. Anaponya vinonda majeraha. Anaponya, anaponya, anaponya muruhusu akuponye. Muruhusu akuponye. Anaingia na neema yake. Anaingia na uponyaji wake. Yesu ponya huyu binti. Ponye majeraha, ponye, ponye vinonda, ponye chochote ambacho kiri, kiri tente kakika sababisha majeraha ya Lord. Touch her, touch her, touch her. Yes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The Lord is in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, receive, receive back your sight, receive back your sight. Receive back your sight in the name of Jesus. Receive back your sight. Receive back your sight. Receive your sight. Receive your sensitivity. Whatever has died in your life, I call it to life. I call it to resurrect. In the name of Jesus, receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive back your sight. Receive back your sight. Your spiritual sight. In the name of Jesus, every interference with the works of the devil. Yes, I rebuke it. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, our Father. Resurrect them, oh God. Resurrect them, oh God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Stop comparing yourself with the people. Be yourself. Be unique. Be unique. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Friendship with God. How many want friendship with God? Ninyi wote. Kwa hivyo siwezi kuwekelea mkono. Simkuje mpokee neema. Hii neema tu. Unajua neema it is true. Ipware wameombewa mwenye anaweza kuamka, mwenye anaweza kuamka aachanwe na yeye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeah. Yes. ambaye ni rafiki wa Mungu. Nyenye go and study. All those all those who were recorded as prophets study their life. They were friends of God. They were friends for Mary to put aside her personal desires to be married, to feel nice that I am also married like my girls. Eh? And to put aside that ambition, that desire for nine more than nine months. It is because she was a friend of God. You cannot sacrifice if you are not a friend of God. Hallelujah. Friendship with God is a sacrifice. There is a cost to pay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is a cost to pay. Sasa hawa nitawaombea aje. Si mwinue mikono niachilie tu. Niachilie tu. Nishike huyu akue point of contact. Eh? Hebu kujeni executive, kujeni executive, kujeni Bishop Esther, wende ukisalimia hawa wapande hiyo. Uwasalimie. Na mukisalimiwa na huyu, mkue marafiki. Hallelujah. Aba wanafunuli wa siri. Siri za mungu. Siri za dhana yetu. Kuna siri kubwa konazo. Kwa ajiri ya taifa hiyo. Na natafuta watu kizazi cha kifupi. Ambacho kinashika. Na wakishika siri za mungu. Wanachipereka maungu bila kusuhutishu. 
wanaingia fasting bila kusuhutishwa bwana yesu usiheri haleluya marafiki wangu aleluya wewe salimu rafiki wa Mungu ukue rafiki rafiki anaweka siri rafiki anamtii Mungu rafiki rafiki anapenda kupendeza Mungu kuliko watu huyo ndiye rafiki na wewe ndiye Mungu anatafuta muende mkue rafiki e, rafiki wa Mungu ambao wanaweka siri rafiki wa Mungu kuja rafiki wa Mungu kuwe tu rafiki wa Mungu kuwa rafiki wa Mungu rafiki wa Mungu tu rafiki wa Mungu rafiki wa Mungu Haleluya. Eh kuja mamio nisalimie. Rafiki wa Mungu kuja. Eh kuwe rafiki. Eh naombea watoto kuja kuwe rafiki. Rafiki tu. Wewe ni mtakasa mikutano yetu. Eh kuwe rafiki. Kuwe rafiki wa Mungu. Rafiki ya Mungu kabisa. Gladys, kuwe rafiki wa Mungu. rafiki wa Mungu rafiki wa Mungu amen praise the lord you want to become a friend next meeting thank you so much for coming friends of god they give they give to their friends how many are saying i will give sacrificially to my friend yes go to your pocket and just give give a good sacrifice G- give a good sacrifice to the lord yes in jesus name as a friend of god my Ambrose Jimmy and our son you don't want to be friends of God Kujeni hapa niwasalimie Faith umekuja Nimekusalimia Au msalimiwa nani au uko rafiki wa Mungu Oh sawa Asante Hallelujah The secret of God are revealed to God friends Ambrose <laughs> become a prophetic worshiper hmm? that the songs you will be singing are the songs that are from the heart of God a desire depth the depth of God and your generation will know God your generation will serve God if only you choose to become a friend of God the Lord bless you amen maish as you serve the Lord become a friend may your service touch your generation because you are a friend of god serve god with a burden in jesus name my son become a friend of god your service touch your generation in jesus name richard become a friend of god may your service your ministry become a blessing to your generation in jesus name because you are a friend of god son become a friend of God may your service to God bring your generation to God raise a generation for God a generation of young people who are in deep love with God become a star a shining star that is shining for God in your generation bless you
Jesus name hallelujah let us let us give our friend good sacrifice yeah you know that's why Mary Magdalene gave Jesus a good sacrifice because she was a prophetic woman prophetic women give sacrificially because even in the house of God they can see a need hello they can see a need and say I will meet that need prophetic women here can hear the voice of God taendelea na hii ujumbe bwana kitujalia kwa jina la Yesu kuja bishop esther Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Can we clap for our ma'am? Ame tubariki sana. Amen. Tuwe marafiki wa mungu hiyo nda imemalizia. Na pia macho yetu ya tiwe nuru. Our sight. Tuone kile mungu abavyo anaona. Tujue kile ambacho kiko katika moyoni mwa mungu. Ili tuwe tunafanya. Amen. Kile. Tunapoomba, we are praying the will of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Mwibaji alisea na, ma, na macho yetu. Hmm? Yatiwe nuru. Ili tuone. Hivyo. Hmm? Yafungue macho yangu. Amen. Kwa hivyo tuambie buwana. Eh.